What's going on? Welcome to another episode. It's currently 7.45. Today I'm doing deadlifts, front squats, split squats, hyper extensions, and decline sit-ups. So I just got done doing sumo deadlift because I always feel like when I do conventional, I always pull my back when the weight gets really heavy. And it just, I mean, it's happened anywhere between 300 and 500 pounds that my back, I'll just be doing a rep and I'll feel it pop like they do when, when you pull a muscle. And yeah, I'll be out for a couple weeks. But the only time that I plan on doing any sort of conventional deadlift is if I'm doing a clean. Can't clean a heavy enough weight that's gonna hurt my back. So I'm gonna be working more on my sumo deadlift and hopefully that will keep my back healthy. So now I need to change shoes and get set for front squats. Some tips on front squats. The bar should be in your neck. Any movement that you're doing with a barbell, while the bar is moving through space, you should not be breathing anyway. None of this is supposed to be super comfortable. Yeah, you should be holding your breath anyway. And with a front squat, a lot of people try to do a bunch of different grips. Because I like to do cleans, I do a front rack like this, just like I got done with a clean, or just like I caught the bar. That way it keeps my wrist mobility up, my shoulder and back, my lat mobility, everything stays good for whenever I want to do cleans again. If you don't do cleans, it's really not necessary to do your front rack like that. I mean, a lot of people you can cross over here if you'd like and go straight arms out in front if you'd like. The main thing is the bar should be in your neck. The further back you can get the bar, the less that it's going to pull you forward, the less your spinal erectors have to work to keep you upright. Time to go upstairs. No back extension machine in here. Ooh. What's going on guys? So, I wanna talk to you guys about, I mean, I just, I don't, I don't understand how some people think that, how people think they can get somewhere without putting any time in. How does anyone expect to reach a goal at something and only put in one, two hours a weekend. Like if you have goals and you want to get in shape, how do you expect to do that going to the gym one time a week and then the rest of the week not even thinking about it or eating whatever the whole week? Not like even two hours a week, three hours a week. Like give, it's like people have no idea what it takes. And that goes for anything. Like you have any any certain goal in life you think you can make that happen on one two three hours a week you realize how many hours there are in a week i mean if i added up all the hours training myself cooking grocery shopping preparing food planning a workout routine planning my nutrition planning i mean you want to be you want to be the best trainer out there how many hours a week are you spending on improving your knowledge on something how much time are you spending looking for new clients how much time are you spending marketing yourself you want to be you want to have you want to have anything you want to have more money how much time are you putting into that you want to have I feel like we're all just so damn lazy and think that we all are just entitled to have what other people have because 
with no reason. Like, without even thinking about it. Like, what the fuck? And this rant just stems from, I mean, clients thinking they can do one time a week and make significant progress, or make any progress. I mean, if you're coming in on your own, maybe. I mean, it just blows my mind how people think that this shit comes that easy. I don't know, guys. That's all I had to say about that. You've got to put the time in and be uncomfortable for a little while. All right, I'll see you at home. All right, guys, so I've had about 39 ounces worth of cooked meat today. 39 ounces of meat. On average, there's about seven grams of protein per ounce of cooked meat, on average. That puts me at 273 grams of protein for the day. Yeah, so because I'm still hungry, I guess that means it's time for some ice cream.